Halo Opinions book tag. I absolutely love watching these tags get done. What? I absolutely love watching these videos. Um, the original tag was created by the book Archer and I'll have the original video linked in the description. But I don't really have anything else to say so I'm just gonna get straight into it with the questions. Okay, so the first question is a popular book or series that you did not like. I've got a whole video talking about popular books that I don't like. And then I've also mentioned that I really, really didn't like Mistborn. I like the first book, just not the rest of the series, which is a bummer because I know it's a beloved series. But if I have to think about one that I haven't spoken about yet, I think I'm going to go with Three Dark Grounds, like in Dark Blake. Um, I didn't hate this book. I was just really underwhelmed because it's just such a hyped series. It fell flat for me. It was really boring. Nothing special about it. It was overly dramatic in a sense like it was trying too hard to be something it wasn't i mean that book's not terrible and i i will eventually read the next one in the series just because i want to know because sometimes the first book in a series isn't a good representation of what it becomes because i feel like sometimes authors need to work their way through what they want the story to become question two a popular book or series that everyone else seems to hate but you love Honestly, I can go for any Sarah J Mass series. People hate Sarah J Mass's series a lot more on booktube. But then I go on bookstagram and I just see all the love for that for those series. I can't really think of anything else other than Sarah J Mass because generally I pretty much like what everyone likes and hate what everyone hates. Or I just don't read it so I never find out. So I'm gonna go with anything by Sarah J Mass except for Crescent City because I hated that. But everyone else seemed to love that, which is weird. Question 3, a love character, where the main character ended up a love character, did I just say that? Question 3, a love triangle, where the main character ended up with a person you did not want them to end up with, or a one true pairing that you did not like. Ooh. The thing is, for me, especially with series, when I read the first book and I can see the direction that it's leaning towards with which character the main character ends up with, and then if I don't like where it's heading i would just not finish the series when i think about a love triangle gone wrong i think about snow like ashes by sarah rush oh my soul did i get annoyed with the story i don't want to spoil it but in the second book um the character that i really wanted her to be with just totally did a switch up and i mean i think they tried to make it make sense but I just wasn't there for it because I didn't like the other guy at all. And then I read a spoiler review so that I could figure out if I should continue on with the series because if they were going to go in that route with the guy that I didn't like, I wasn't going to finish it. And then I found out that that's exactly what happened. So I'm glad I didn't just power through for that uselessness. And funny enough, I don't even remember the characters' names. But I will say the series was very much enjoyable, so if you don't mind reading something where the love triangle doesn't really do good things, this will be a good series for you. I forgot what it's about, but it's fantasy, pretty cliche. And then let me just say, I do not ship as an Elaine from Court of Thorns and Roses. I do not ship them at all. I ship Elaine with Lucian, but it feels like there are more as Elaine shippers out there, and I hope your ship sinks. Number four, a popular book genre that you hardly reach for. So if I'm being honest, I don't really reach for anything that's not fantasy. So I've got a lot of answers for this. I am working on changing that though. Any mysteries or thrillers or anything else that I'm forgetting. If you read those genres and you have any good recommendations for people that don't, let me know. I mean, I guess I only really read for fantasy and my contemporaries and the occasional classic question five a popular or beloved character that you do not like so i've got two characters that come to mind when i think about popular characters that i don't like one that i've said before in a video is i don't like kale from the throne of class series as much as everyone else does but one that i've never mentioned before is i'm not a big fan of bellatrix from harry potter like you know like she's one of those characters that people generally love to hate and I hate her just as much as I hate, like, okay, maybe not just as much as I hate Umbridge. Question 6, a popular author that you cannot seem to get into. Get into implies that you've tried to read many books from said author. Cassandra Clare is very difficult for me to enjoy. I really like the story. I stopped reading the Mortal Instruments series at 
book three i think city of glass i'm still trying to read that one what i don't like about her writing is it's so it's so description heavy i don't need to know what every single character in the room is wearing or how orange the sunset is i don't care about that stuff i like the story element of it so i guess cassandra claire kind of because i've tried a lot of her books and it's just really tough for me to enjoy them and then there's like authors where i've only read one book and i just cannot so like tahira mafi and um ruta Saperis, but i've only tried one book from those authors so i don't know if that counts question seven a popular book trope that you're tired of seeing example lost princess corrupt ruler love triangles funny enough i actually really love all those tropes one that i'm very tired of seeing it just drains me first one that comes to mind is just girl and girl hate i just don't like that women have to constantly be competing and ugh, it tires me i'm sick of seeing it and then let me think of another one i don't like toxic masculinity which is just a popular trope that we see all the time i don't like pixie dream girls i don't like that i'm not like other girls trope i've got a lot question eight a popular series that you have no interest in reading so this question is kind of tough for me to answer it's probably the most difficult one uh, my reading tastes change all the time so if i say i'm never gonna read this chances are next month i'm gonna be reading it it's just the way my brain works and then i'm assuming this um question refers to something which i haven't tried before so i can't say like shatter me i think of all those like adult fantasy series that are heavy and apparently really difficult to read and get through i'm not saying i never would so i'm gonna kind of take a cop out answer here and just say stuff that i've tried and hasn't worked the truly devious mystery series by maureen johnson oh yeah there's like i don't know if it's a series or if it's like a mashup of books but the modern fairy tales series collection by holly black not interested um for truly devious i read the first book and i sort of started the first one and i might eventually carry on reading it but right now it's too slow for me and then the holly the modern fairy tales by holly black not interested in it i tried reading it but there was like issues with consent between the characters that i'm not enjoying i, I i'm generally very open i will read anything i'll try everything at least once and then if i don't like it i'm not scared to dnf fam and then the last question question nine the saying goes the book is always better than the movie but what movie or tv show adaptation do you prefer more than the book the only thing that comes to mind is um all the bright places by jennifer Niven, and i actually did prefer the movie to the book the book made me cry too much so i preferred the movie i kept my tears in their sockets thank you very much and some problematic aspects of the book were sort of dealt with better in the movie and fixed and that is the end of this tag if you have a channel i tag you to do this video because I feel like we should all just be more accepting of people with different opinions, especially when those opinions aren't harmful and we are talking about something as subjective as reading. But other than that, bye. I think I'm going to go with three dark cl clowns. Yeah, basically, yeah, that's what it was. Clowns. It was a joke.